Okay, hi, I'm Luca Petrich, and I will present you the zero pass. Um, zero pass is basically like one password, but without one password. That's the easiest way to say it. Um, so basically, what's the opportunity? The opportunity is um, how to eliminate all passwords, uh, how to safe keep the uh, private keys, <coughs> passphrases, backup keys, um, all these secrets that needs to really good protection, and basically how to do uh, password recovery. Usually, right now it's uh, through the mail or something like that. That's that's not really secure. And how to do inheritance with, uh, let's say, bitcoins. What happens if you go away or something? Next. Uh, so our um, solution basically set up uh, multi-platform apps and. Uh, extensions for uh, browsers. Uh, we offer the multi-signature, um, uh, let's say, um, design, uh, security design, and that, that will allow us to do the recovery. Um, and it's really easy to use because you don't need any password. Uh, all you basically do, you just, on, on your two devices, you just allow the something to happen. You just click yes. Thanks. So what, what do we actually do? Whatever you save the password uh, in your browser extensions, or the password in this, it could be a private key for a bit card. Uh, basically, we take the password uh, to your PC uh, desktop app. Uh, desktop app uh, take the password, it splits it into, into two parts. It sends one part to the server. This is zero knowledge, so we don't know what this is for or something like that. And whenever you want to sign in, again, uh, what you do, uh, you basically ask um, the server to give you the half of the password back. And he doesn't really trust you because, you know, your device can be uh, stolen. Uh, I mean, you do have a private key signature here, and, but then he asks you for the second uh, factor signature and you, you sign the same transaction with, let's say, your wallet phone and server send you back the password. You construct it and you input it into browser. Thank you. So what happens if you lose these devices? Because remember, there is no password at all. There is no pin. There is nothing like that. So basically, first you need to reconstruct the backup key. You do this with two out of three trusted friends, uh, contacts. Um, basically, they just go to settings and they say, yes, I allow this my part to be reconstructed to the backup key. Once the backup key is there, you basically um, you can reconstruct the backup key with the server, or um, if your devices are down, or let's say if our server will go away or something like that, you can always reconstruct uh, locally with you and backup key, and you get to the master private uh, key. Next one. Um, so what we do here, then with this master private key, we basically uh, use it for recovery. We have this scheme. Uh, that is based on BIP32 uh, from Bitcoin. And we basically, before we save, split the password, we encrypt it um, with the public key. And once the, the master private is, um, uh, is recovered, you can basically open all the password and you can get, get them all back. Next. Uh, so what can we basically help for, for the um, with the bitcoins or, or blockchains, uh, we can safe keep the private uh, keys without any password and pin, so it's really easy to use. Uh, just two clicks, we allow this, yes, yes. Um, just this one. Uh, private, can, yeah. can you go back? Yes, yeah. just uh, um, So we can do the private key recovery with two out of three trusted friends, so basically you don't. Uh, you can always get your uh, keys back. Uh, you don't lose all your bitcoins, and basically they can also recover uh, inherited after some waiting period enforced by our servers. Uh, later, we want to do the multi-signing on these two devices, so basically that they will not be reconstructed in one device. So this will be much safer. And we also uh, want to do the bitcoin vaults, uh, basically the cold wallet replacement. Uh, that basically allows you to, um, to to do one account that it's spendable really slow, and if if something is wrong wrong you can uh, raise it on the blockchain and uh, recover the 
um, let's say the, the funds before they get actually spent. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.